Hi everyone, it's Kathy Zelski. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I've got a simple card project with some emboss resist and ink blending. And this is really designed for those of you who might look at an image and think, yeah, I don't really have the time to color it or <laughs> maybe the skill. This, this is going to help you out. At least it certainly helps me out. So let's jump in and take a look at the products that I'm using today. This is the brand new Buttercup set from me and Simon Says Stamp. It just features a bunch of really all-purpose sentiments and little sub-sentiments. So you can use this for birthday or I miss you or feel better. And it's got some little smiley faces in different sizes that you can stamp on the insides of those three different buttercups. Well, they're not really buttercups, but I've also got a stem in there so you can create a whole bouquet on your card project. And of course, there are coordinating dies that you can purchase just to cut out the blooms and the leaves. I'll be using some Distress Oxides today. I've got a few colors, Picked Raspberry, Worn Lipstick, Mustard Seed, Wild Honey, a little Twisted Citron, and some Spiced Marmalade. I'm going to be using half the rainbow today. Half the rainbow is my goal. I've got some blending foam tools here, and I've also got a little bit of the brand new Gina K Whisper Amalgam Ink. This is a really cool light, light gray, and I'm really excited to have this little cube. I will also be using a little bit of Versamark and some Brutus Monroe powder in Alabaster, my favorite white. For cardstock, speaking of Whisper, I've got the brand new Whisper cardstock from Gina K that matches this ink, and it is a lovely, lovely color. I've got some Nina Solar White and then just a little scrap of Dusty Rose also from Gina K Designs. I'll be using some Nouveau Crystal Glaze today to finish off my card project. It's kind of a cool product. And also some of my Simon Says Stamp Sentiment Label dies. I use these all the time and today I'm going to be cutting out a big strip. I'll be stamping with my Misty tool. I don't want to leave home without it. Well, I do leave home without it, but I, I think you know what I mean. All right time to get stamping. So what I want to do here is just take my blooms, space them out enough because I'm going to be cutting everything apart and you'll see why in a minute. But I'm going to pick this stuff up with the Misty Door, go ahead and take my embossing magic and prep that area to remove all of the static, and then just ink it up with the sticky embossing ink and press it down. Now I'll sprinkle on this white powder all over the cardstock, get a good coating on that, tap it off, and you can see how they show up. I'll get my heat tool nice and hot, bring it to the paper, and then quickly melt that embossing powder until it turns shiny and white and melted. It's a little hard to see on the white cardstock, but once you start ink blending, the magic, the magic will ensue. There it is. Moving on. All right. I'm cutting them apart because I want to ink blend and I don't want to mask and worry that I'm going to get ink on one image and not the other. So just using my big scissors here and going to cut everything apart so that I have it all isolated. And I'm not doing fancy ink blending today. This is, this is really basic. I'm taking a little bit of color, coloring the bloom over, and then I will wipe off the excess with a paper towel. Now, I'm coming in with this little tiny tool. I have, I only have six of these little blending finger foams. I wish I had more. I'd like to get more because I'd love to have one for more colors, but honestly, it's probably not needed. I'm just trying to create a little depth and dimension by going a little heavier in the center. I don't have another orange that I wanted to use. And here I'll come in with the yellow and then add a little wild honey over the top. The thing I love about this versus coloring is just it's easy. <laughs> I know that sounds, it might sound terrible, but I just sometimes don't want to get out my markers. And doing this creates a lovely range of color, and it's so quick, and it looks great. I'll tap a few flicks of water onto my colored images to create that lovely reaction that you get from the Distress Ink. And blot it all off, and look at that cute little blots of water. I think that looks great. Using the coordinating dies, I've taped these all into place, and I'll run them through my Spellbinders Platinum 6 machine. And normally, I will use templates when I'm cutting out things that I've worked on, but these were pretty easy, with the exception of 
I wasn't happy with the orange one. I'm not going to lie. The orange one was a little off, and, well, I ended up doing it again off camera. But these are pretty easy dyes to line up, and those, those are my flowers and leaves. Now for the sentiment. This is where I'm bringing in my little scrap of Dusty Rose, and I'm going to stamp What Up Buttercup onto this cardstock. But first, I'll prep the area with anti-static tool. Bring in the what up, and before I add my powder, I wanted to line up the buttercup to get it as close as I could because I knew I had limited space with my with my sentiment label die, and this is gonna work. Cover it with the powder, shake it on. Mm, just like that, tap it off. Look at all that powder fall off. Beautiful. I went ahead and heat set that off camera and used my large label die to trim it out perfectly. That's what I love about them. You can line them up, trims perfectly, and then I'm going to use the little corner, the little banner notch to cut out a perfect banner. Just like that. Now I'm stamping my stems. I already got the first one down. I don't know, I don't know what happened to that clip. You know, sometimes there's a lot of clips going, but this I thought was kind of fun. Figure out where these go. I pressed a little too hard because the Stamp itself isn't really wavy like that, but I kind of like the effect. So note to self, don't press too hard. Now I'm going to score my card base. This is going to be a horizontal or landscape card. I'm going to use some big foam tape to pop up that panel, just like that. Look at that nice bit of framing margin space. I think it looks really good. And now I'm just going to add my flowers. And each one has foam tape on, well, the pink one has one layer of foam tape. The orange one has doubled up, and then I figured for the yellow, I don't need to double it up. It's just gonna have three different layers of dimension. And then I'm going to pop up this little banner, and I like to bring in a piece of cardstock just so I have something to press against on the edge. And look at that, it's pretty cute. All right, next I'll just glue on the leaves, and there you go. The finishing touch is to add the Nouveau Crystal Glaze. I do think this stuff is really cool. I am not very confident with this step ever. And I think I did a pretty good job, but I realized once I put it down that it wasn't really in the center. Can you see it start to kind of move on that big flower? I started to panic, so you can kind of move it around a little bit. And then I got a little heavy handed, but you know, you live and you learn. I think the end result is really just fine. Nobody's going to look at it and say, Kathy, um, that wasn't perfect. I mean, they might say that, and that would be okay. That would be their prerogative as the card recipient, but I digress. Thanks so much for watching today. I'm gonna go ahead and add a link to another card project that uses basically the same colors and the same technique if you wanna see another version of this concept. Thanks for watching. I would love to have you become a subscriber, and I will see you back here again soon.